Welcome to the first semi-final game of the 2024 Blitzball World Series. We have two undefeated squads, haven't lost a game. KCBL, Gainesville, the winner of this one is going to the championship. Joey DeMeo, you have the chance to go to your second straight Blitzball World Series championship game. And you're on a different squad. And talk about your role. I mean, you're the starting pitcher for this team. You are the guy on the mound. What are your thoughts on how, what your role has become for this squad? To myself, um, the bat has not been rolling this tournament, but um, you know, I think I would, I would classify myself as a PO. Only let one hit, one hit up this end. Bleh. And this year, only allowed one hit. Hopefully I don't jinx him. I'm just happy to be here. I'm here with Patrick Jacob of Gainesville. You guys have a chance to go to your first ever Blitzball World Series championship game. And you've been one of the guys who's improved so much from the past tournaments, specifically on the mound. I mean, you've been dicing everybody up. Just talk about your progression and what's gone into that. Um, if the arm hurts, throwing works. It rhymes, so it's true. It's true. So, Patrick Jacob and Gainesville trying to go to their first ever Blitzball World Series championship game. Good luck, sir. Feel it. Feel the moment. Feel the moment. Let's go. I mean, these two teams are the best two teams right now at the moment. Big one here. And Jack, the captain of Gainesville, is the starting pitcher. And the first one coming from him, ball one to Drew Sappingfield. The loser of these two will go on and play another semifinal game and face Swisher. A lot of people swing over it. And, and there's a strike from him. Jack been sticking that with that riser all tournament long. Five on one pitch. And Hits him. That will be a leadoff walk. Drew Sappingfield gets on first for the squad. Got a base runner. Have an oh. AB. Let's go. Hey, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Swing and a miss. First strike number two. Jack. One strike away from his first out. Oh, oh my yeah, I, I goodness, that, that is, is that not foul ball, is that foul not? ball. Oh. That ball was hit really hard and a lot of spin hung up in the air. The full count pitch from Jack. Ball up and back-to-back -back walks to start this one. Uncharacteristic for the Gainesville squad. They are used to pumping strikes. They don't put a lot of free runners on. Oh my God, guys. We have Joey DeMeo up to the plate. Matt Foster on second. Drew Sappingfield on first. But here is the self-proclaimed PO. I mean, I mean, in the beginning interviews, like, yeah, the bat's not working. I'm a PO at this point. And he looks to strike one. Are you confident in Joey's hitting ability here? Yes. Oh, he put yes, it in I play. Am. Play it first. He's, He's safe. safe. Drop the ball. Drew Sappenfield coming home, and he will score. Oh, that will score a run for KCBL 1-0, the ball game. And KCBL's runners on the corners. They're not done yet. There's still no outs. Still nobody out in this game. Go, 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 Joey put together his first hit of the entire tournament. Congratulations, Joey, the P.O. Woo! A, A, oh, through the toes. Can you do it? Got the zone. Strike number one there. Got the top height there for strike number two, four and two. 78 miles per hour, that is a tough pitch to hit. You got to think this is a must get out for Gainesville. They have nobody out in the inning, and it is a full count with runners on the corners. The pitch on the way from Jack yep. hits him, and the bases are loaded. Nobody out. Nightmare scenario for Gainesville, who's the number one seed and been the best team in this tournament, and all of a sudden cannot find it here on day three. Top of the order, bases loaded. Big hack there was trying to put four runs on the board there. Great pitch, same spot. Got it. 80. Right at 80 miles per hour. Two strikes to Drew Sappingfield. Gainesville trying to get their first out of the game. Four and two. Foul ball. Drew, great at bat here. Continues to stay alive. Good freaking job, Drew. <sighs> Another Full count pitch, can Jack keep it under the speed limit here? He goes overhand and it is high and away, a walk in KCBL. 
Now up two to zero on the top of the first and still nobody down. You have to go Patrick here or at least maybe dress. You need someone to throw in the zone and get strikes. You have to. As a strike. Got the zone. Found the arm slot for one strike. He's got to do it Two. again, and that will walk him. Ball six, Case BL up 3-0 now. Robot. <laughs> I'm really bad at robot. And will they finally make the switch? It looks like they like are. David Drzwiski, his first appearance here in the Blitzball World Series, and he's relieving the captain. In a big spot, too. And this is a massive spot. I mean, you have zero outs. The bases are loaded. Remember, we do have that five-run cap, so KCBL can only put two that's more runs on the board. And that's a strike. Massive hack that's there from Joey. There, there is. it is. Finds his own. Oh, and two very quickly. The last one was. That is Got the strike zone. Strike three. number three. 79 mile an hour. First batter that that's, he sees, he that's what sits mean. down. I mean, he found the strike zone. Bad. And that is ball six. It is 4-0 in favor of KC. I mean, three of those runs walked in. Self-inflicted wounds for Gainesville here. That strike one. Swing and a miss. And the two strike delivery from David. Got him to chase up. Two outs now. We have a 4 0 game. The bases are loaded. KCBL can only put one more run on the board. And that's ball one. Swings at that. Strike one. Middle on the corner. Bro. I feel like I'm so connected on that. Last pitch of the inning, regardless if it is a ball, Casey will reach the cap, a strike will be out number three, and he nice gets strike. it. Gainesville will save a run there, four to zero in favor of Casey Bell after the first, but Gainesville, one of the best hitting teams. I mean, their four slot has hit two homers yep. this tournament. They can do it all throughout the lineup, so they can definitely do it and put four runs on the board. I'll do a mic up. Joey DeMeo is the starting pitcher great for KC pitch. as scheduled and a great pitch to start it off. Nice. In the air! That's and it's hanging, hanging up. Trouble, Drew though. Sappingfield under it. There it is. Catch is made. Just got under that to Jack. Got a lot of it, but it spun up and the wind caught it and the backspin. Drew able to make the catch, make the play. Yes. Defense, baby. Defense. The defense goes crazy. I can't see. Got that the zone, is. bottom pipe. Come on this way. Got the swing for strike two. And the two strike delivery from him. And it hits him. That's the second, second hit. hit of the at bat. Gaines was wow. got the first base runner. Really better cut it this time. But what then throws that? What a pitch. Riser, bottom of the zone. Step out, fastball. Great pitch from Joey to sit down, David. Down the middle, four strike one. Got the outside corner, strike two, four and two. Joey DeMeo is one strike away from sending this to the second inning. The pitch, he was smiling. smiling on that pitch, had a big old grin. Good, let's go. <laughs> 4 0 after inning one. KC. That, that one was all KC there. A lot of the runs manufactured off walks, and then Joey came in, pitched a zero as expected. Patrick Jacob now into the game for Gainesville. Slider. Oh my word. A rising slider there from Patrick Jacob. And I tell you what, he is moving way up in those pitching rankings after this tournament. And he walks him, lead off walk. It's been the story today for Gainesville. Cannot keep runners off the base paths. Good pitch, outside corner, spotted. I mean, nobody's hitting that. That's impossible to hit. Knuckle drop.
The full count delivered from Patrick Jacob. Got it! And his location pitch somehow is that knuckle drop. That's normally the most difficult pitch in all of to locate, and he's able to hit that middle part of the zone and get it by batters. And for this at bat, Drew Sappenfield, he's going lefty. He doesn't have to many times and takes the first one off the calf. There is a strike. Great. And second hit of the at bat. Man, you guys just not like me or something. I feel like I've gotten hit like four or five times already. Four, two. Oh. And lace, but what a no play play? from Jack. Tag second. Oh my Gets God. the out. Double play. That will end the inning. What a play there for two. Jack able to pick it so clean what off the play. grass. What a play. No bobble there. Wow. Throws the first and just by a half step gets the out. And now we are in the bottom of the second. No runs allowed in that inning. That's huge for Gainesville because they're still in striking distance. They're going to need four runs off of Casey's secondary pitcher, Cooper Carley. That's and he has been fantastic this tournament, trying to close out and send his team to the championship. I mean, Hudson is another guy who loves the bit. First pitch, and strike is, one. We're getting attacked. Laced up the middle to the right side. That's going to be an easy single for Jack. No play there at first. Absolutely tattooed and a great start for Gainesville. They're going to need four. They need base runners. Good hit. In the air, hanging up. Another one straight to Drew Sappingfield for out number one. These batters are barreling it, but it's just hanging up in the air. Curveball got the swing and a miss for strike one. I know. Slider Cooper Carly has the whole repertoire working for him. Oh, Fastball man. gets it past. Great David Drewsowicki, and there's two outs in the game, one out away from a championship berth for KCBL. Hey, Unamas, let's go Unamas, come on. And the final chance for Gainesville will be down to Luke James. Foul ball, good hack there from Luke James. That's gonna be strike number one. Big swing, strike two, and KCBL is now one strike away from going to the championship. The full count pitch, got, got him! Cooper Carley ends the game for KCBL, has been on fire this tournament, and KCBL is the first team here in 2024 to clinch championship berth. They are going to the championship, and they defeat Gainesville, and on the other side of things, Gainesville will be going down to the loser's bracket. They will get another shot. It will be Gainesville Swisher here in the next video to see who will meet KCBL in the championship. Oh, Normally Matt Foster is the second guy for KC. Yeah. And you picked up Blitzball how long ago? I think in June, so what, six months ago, I think. Six months ago, picked up a Blitzball. Just talk about your progression and getting to the point where you're able to pitch on the stage like this? Well, for the season, KCBL, I had Joey on my team, and I'm real close with Matt, so, you know, they're both, you know, one of the best pitchers in Blitzball, so they helped me, you know, develop pitches, and I've always been able to locate pretty well, so just getting that down, and the rest is history. KCBL is headed to the championship, and in the next video will be Swisher versus Gainesville. The winner of that will meet KCBL in the championship. We will see you there. You gotta go back up. No go.